Getty. Right, so today spent um, a bit of time on the land, putting some steps in and building my, well, using the, the forest soil that I've been cutting out for a raised bed for a nursery for my trees that I'm going to grow. So, so yeah, last week I cut this out, this way down and through. And then I just started my steps. So I'm going for like a classic British woodland steps you see in the in the forestry areas all the time. I'm gonna we're gonna put some um, wood chips down in here so they don't overgrow. I'm just gonna go down until it flattens out a little bit, maybe between those two hazels there, there and there. And then further down, there's a really steep part that I'm gonna also cut out. So it should give us plenty of plenty of tree friendly soil, sweating like a beast. Um, more steps, wood, a trusty chopping block. So nice to have the house on the land. Also, we filled up some of this trench for our grey water. Look at all this sand, this is all sand. So you can see, it's starting to fill up. Sort of pipes that, that branch from the house, branch out along down here, come out slightly above, sit on top of this tree stuff with some stones around them to stop ingress from animals and the like. And this should all be filled with carbon rich um, material, which will eventually rot down, uh, but it will, our water will have to go through it. Before it goes into the ground, it's thick enough, you should have um, a lot of time to purify, as long as we're not using chemicals in the in the house, which we're not. That is El Planarino. Um, so that should be good. Cleared that area out there, which is where we got that stuff from. This is just waiting for the water to go into the house. Wait. So it's starting to get get there now. Got a nice little big area for us to turn around with the house. There's my mole meadows or larch, European larch. Actually seems to be doing okay. The guys said make sure it's not it's not um crowded. So I'll put it here. Loads of room, loads of space for it to have. And this should grow pretty high, like in excess of 40, 50 meters, I believe. So, and that'd be really, really good timber wood. Um, I need to plant some more, but I'm probably going to plant lo loads of these down the end over the hill where it starts to flatten there. So that all the way over there with pine, larch, um, walnut, if I can find some black walnut, because that should be growing pretty big. And um, I'm going to try um, What am I going to try? I've already tried it several times already But the, the seeds don't seem to be working so well um, Suedo acacia Which is Oh locust, black locust um, Which I'll put along the edges because it's a um, nitrogen fixer. There's a rowan and loads of grasshoppers. Watch this. Oh, grasshoppers. Um, yeah, this is a, it's going to be beautiful. This should be pretty tall as well. It's been grafted. A bit of stone. Some, some mergams. Mergam vianus, mergam du. Uh, it's going. YouTube us, eh? YouTube. Uh, also, also built, not built, but just put together from the soil we got from this forest. Just start putting together the second bed here. So this is going to come into the V shape, much like this. So it'll be parallel. Um, and then this will be where I put my trees to grow. So there's going to be a little tree nursery here. My intention is that will also become a tree nursery. 
put some strawberries and maybe some vegetables in here and then build these out so there'll be another one then build out in a kind of cubic form along the edges here that'll all get mulched down into wood chips and we'll use that for mulching over these I'm going to grow some serpentine thyme as a ground cover for the top of these hillocks because they will get grassed up hard pretty soon um, yeah Things are going all right though. These, these blooming hydrangeas, I think. These are doing well still. They're coming, they're coming back. Rass's grass is doing well. Look at this one. This is probably Rass's favorite. So we've got some heathers. Another hydrangeas. Don't know what that is, but they, these, I think there's this blue flower here and they just keep coming. Look, it's budding up again. That it's a yellow flower. No, it's not, it's the same blue one. Doesn't seem to be doing too well. Um, but yeah, grass. Getting there, bit by bit. Slowly, but yeah, just slowly, but surely. In the house, in the mucus. Gary. Hey, no, Rajroyam. 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 Rajroyam.